The idea for the, for the mural at the underpass at the Glenside train station came from a meeting with the Downtown Business Association. In a meeting with a lot of those business owners, there's just opportunity. And as we started talking about it, thinking this could be an opportunity for Arcadia students. If we were going to paint a mural, let's get everyone involved. So having Commissioner Drew Sharkey there, bringing people together from SEPTA, on the Arcadia side, once we got the art department behind it with Richard Torchia, who is the curator of the Arcadia University Gallery, that's when the momentum picked up. And when we decided on David Gwynn and he agreed to do the project, it was just like the, someone turned the light on. Working on the Arcadia Glenside project, it was really exciting to get the call that, that there could be a project. and. I think the most exciting thing was just working with the students and that it was part of Arcadia. And so the class had to be structured. We met once a week on Fridays. Um, in the first three months of the class, we were indoors. We, it was too cold to be painting outside. And what that did was it forced us to think about mural painting and this project at the Glenside train station in particular. And then we got to really go in deep with the community process and spend a lot of time talking to people in the neighborhood and interviewing people. My favorite part was definitely connecting with the community. Um, Sydney and I, we actually went around to a lot of the businesses and actually got to talk to people I probably would have never talked to before. And we got to go to di these different businesses, shake their hands and be like, what can we do? Like, what can we incorporate into this mural and invite them to the events? And just kind of meeting these people that I probably never would have met before. There was just so many different ideas. But there were a lot of commonalities, especially with like, you know, we want pride in our community. We feel like there's so much friendship and friendliness in our community. And we want these kind of ideals emphasized in this mural, as well as the partnership with Arcadia and with our community. The mural is a good blend of like, what some people wanted to see, which was architecture and history with what students and like younger people wanted to see, which was mostly like color, abstraction. So I think it does a really good job of like blending the two concepts together and it's something that will make most people happy. My favorite part was when we're actually at the mall and people are just staring at us and cars are honking at them to make them move down the road or people are honking as they drive by, just saying how much they appreciate what we're doing. Once I had an arts festival, since there were so many people, we had part of the mural that was available for other people to paint. So it was really fun to see people interacting together while they were painting the wall. Students in the class came from all different majors and I thought that was a real asset to the class. And coming from different directions was that there was a lot to learn from each other. And I think conversations that that I had with students and that students had with students about um, all the different facets of what they were interested in made the process richer for everybody. David's awesome. Yeah, David's um, the best. <laughs> he didn't seem like that. He was so friendly that you didn't get the vibe that he was a professional artist. Like he acted and he was like one of us. So it made it easier to transition to somebody who does not come from an art background to kind of get me used to what we were doing and like the ideologies and the techniques and everything. So it was like, he's an awesome guy. He's really good at bringing everyone's ideas together and then including us all in different aspects. And if there was something you weren't comfortable with or you wanted to do, he would make sure that you got to do what you wanted to. And it was also in a way that was productive for everyone. So he's been really good at helping us include everyone. I honestly forgot that everybody was a different major because it, doesn't, it didn't like matter. You know, everybody was on the same level really and everybody was like equally as good. So I, I don't even think, like I totally forgot that we were all different majors. Behind the scenes, there were so many people that contributed to this beyond just the students and I and all of the like, business and political leaders in Glenside that supported the project um, and all of the people at Arcadia who supported the project and really smoothed the path. This project definitely strengthened the relationship between Arcadia and the community and I can say especially for me personally like I never would have gone out into the community into Glenside and like interacted with as many people as I did. I think that this whole experience taught me that art isn't something you do by yourself it's something that you do um, like with and for other people. I'm definitely really proud of like the legacy that we've left on Glenside now. Like it's like so amazing to be able to be a part of something kind of bigger than yourself and bigger than just a painting. Like it's a mural. It's something that people are going to see every single day. 
I'm always going to remember that we, like, as a group, focused so hard and like we got things done in like the shortest amount of time. That to me is what's so great about this project is that everybody came together from like these different backgrounds and like proved their like worth and their creativity in the project. As a university, as educators, we of course wanted to offer an educational opportunity to our students. But as residents and as a member of the community, um, we want to be collaborative and this collaborative process was from my 10 years of being in Arcadia was the first of its kind and uh, it really brought people together. The value that our students experienced as apprentices came through in this project and they realized that this is something they want to continue, they want to have more of these experiences. And you know the community loved it as well, so having this beautiful underpass Everyone asked, what are we going to do with the other side? So this spring, the other side is where we're going to focus. And David Gwynn has agreed to come back. The art department's going to run it again. And it's part of the mission of our institution. And that is the strongest impact Arcadia can have on our local community.